Chapter 12 Basic Geometrical Concepts Classifying 2D and 3D Objects We know that the flat objects are classified as 2D objects and solid objects are classified as 3D objects. Let's have a look at 2D and 3D objects. 2D objects This is a circle. It has no sides and no corners. This is a triangle. It has three sides and three corners. This is a rectangle. It has four sides and four corners. Its opposite sides are equal in length. This is a square. It has four sides and four corners. All of its sides are equal in length. 3D objects. This is a cuboid. It has six faces, 12 edges and eight corners. This is a cube. It has six faces, 12 edges and 8 corners. This is a sphere. It has one curved surface. This is a cylinder. It has three faces, one curved plus two circular and two edges. This is a cone. It has two faces, one edge and one corner. Forming shapes from a net. Net. When a solid shape is made using a flat shape, it is called net. Nets are made up of many faces like six-faced, five-faced, four-faced. When we dismantle a three-dimensional object, we get its net. Six-faced net. A six-faced cube can be formed by folding the following net. Five-faced net. We can use a five-faced net to make a cube with one side open. Four-faced net. We can make a cube with four faces with two sides open by folding the net. Geometry Geometrical terms namely point, line, line segment, plane, etc. are from the foundation of geometry. These terms cannot be precisely defined. However, we give examples to illustrate the meaning of these terms. Let us begin the geometry by a point. Point a point is a dot made by a finely sharpened pencil. It has no size, means it has no length, breadth or height. It is represented by a capital letter. Point P, point Q, point A, point R, point T. Line. A line or a straight line has length only. It has no breadth or thickness. It may be extended in both directions infinitely. Look at the line drawn below. This is line AB or BA. It can be written as AB or BA. Let's find a line by paper folding activity. Take a sheet of paper and fold it. When you open the fold, you will find a crease formed. This gives the idea of a straight line. Ray. Observe the sun, a torch and an electric bulb. Rays of light are given out from them. A ray is therefore denoted by an end point and an arrowhead. We cannot determine the length of a ray. This is ray AB. It can be written as AB. Remember, ray AB is not equal to ray BA. Line segment. A line segment is a part of a line. It has two end points. Thus, it can be drawn on a sheet of paper. The endpoints can be named by letters, say A and B. The length of a line segment can be measured. This is the line segment AB. A line segment can be drawn vertically, horizontally or slanting. Drawing and measuring line segments. Measuring line segments. Let's learn to measure the length of a line segment using a ruler. Place the edge of the scale showing centimeters along the line segment AB. Adjust the scale in such a way that zero mark of the scale is at the point A. Read the scale at the point B. Here the mark of the scale is 7 cm. So the length of the line segment AB is 7 cm. Drawing line segments. Let's learn to draw a line segment of given length say 6 cm using a ruler. Place the scale on the paper, mark two points A and B and the marks 0 and 6 respectively. 
keeping the scale evenly move the pencil from a to b along the edge of the scale the length of the line segment is 6 cm angles look at the following figures each figure is made up of two rays but in figure c and d the two rays qb and qr are start from a common point q so the figure c and d represent an angle similarly draw a ray oa and o as its end point and another ray ob with o as its end point the common end point o of the two rays arms oa and ob is called the vertex of the angle the two rays or line segments are called the arms of the angle many objects around us give the idea of an angle for example look at the position of two hands in the clock or two arms of a pair of scissors or two arms of a divider naming an angle look at the figure shown below the angle can be named as angle xyz or angle y the symbol is used to denote an angle so angle xyz is often written as angle xyz similarly angle zyx is written as angle zyx sometimes we may also name an angle by writing a number or letter inside the angle for example in the given figure we write angle pqr as angle 1 measuring an angle using protector we can measure or construct an angle using protector it is a semicircular piece of metal or plastic a protector has divided into 180 equal divisions each division represents 1 degree angles are measured in degrees let's have a look at the different parts of a protector outer scale inner scale baseline reference point let's learn to measure the given angle angle aob using protector in order to measure angle aob place the protector in such a way that its center is exactly on the vertex o of the angle of the baseline read the mark through which the arm ob passes here we can see that angle aob is equal to 60 degree kinds of angle acute angle an angle whose measure is between 0 degree and 90 degree is called an acute angle in figure angle abc is equal to 60 degree therefore abc is an acute angle obtuse angle an angle whose measure is greater than 90 degree but less than 180 degree is called an obtuse angle in figure angle abc is equal to 110 degree therefore angle abc is an obtuse angle right angle an angle whose measure is 90 degree is called a right angle in figure angle abc is equal to 90 degree so abc is a right angle straight angle an angle whose measure is exactly 180 degree is called a straight angle in figure angle abc is equal to 180 degree so abc is a straight angle circle a major discovery of a man with the wheel without which vehicles cannot move what is the shape of a wheel a bangle a 1 rupee coin or the full moon these are all examples of circular objects let us study the terms related to the circle in detail we know that a circle is a simple closed curve it is the set of all those points in a plane whose distance from a fixed point remains constant in the given figure the fixed point o is called the center of the circle and the constant distance oc ob and oa are known as the radius of the circle the straight line aob is called the diameter of the circle since aob is the diameter and oa and ob are two ready then aob is equal to oa plus ob is equal to two radius so we can say that a diameter of a circle is twice of its radius the length of the boundary of a circle is its circumference remember the center of a circle lies in its interior 
all the radii of a circle are equal, we can draw as many radii as we want. All the diameters of a circle are equal in length. Symmetry We admire the beauty of many objects around us such as flowers, leaves, butterflies, jet planes, etc. because they display a balance. This balance is called symmetry in the arrangement of their parts. In all figures, the left side and right side are balanced. So, these are symmetrical figures. Our body is also said to be symmetric. Patterns We see man patterns around us. It can be seen in clothes, nature, geometrical figures, etc. Patterns follow some rules like repetition of figures, increase in size, increase in number, change in direction, etc. Look at the patterns shown below.